Well, I think she uh, has an extraordinary uh, personality, a very engaging personality, a very magnetic personality. You're getting two for the price of one, really. Oh. Get off. <laughs> I can't believe you just did that. <laughs> and uh, he was quite a horrific man, and eventually, once he got to his 100th affair, um, my mother decided she'd had enough. I was about nine years old at the time and was suddenly put in the position as the elder girl to really take care of the house and be the housekeeper. The people are delighted to talk to her, delighted to interview her, um, want, want her on their TV programmes, and she uses that um, to help other people. <laughs> her story is extremely motivational. And he said, you know, your father said he was going to the office today. And we were like, yeah. He said, well, actually, he went to court and now he's in prison. Waterloo is where the homeless people go. So I thought, I'm homeless, I'm a logical child. I can't go back to my mother and her boyfriend. My father's in prison. I'll go there. Well, I mean, it, it's, it's a story of determination. It's a story of perseverance. And I just thought, oh, my hair is soaking wet. And this tramp was just standing there, urinating right next to me. And I never wanted to be a model until that moment. You know, what she has gone through in her life and what she has been able to accomplish is positively mind-blowing. And uh, so I think people want to hear uh, about someone who can have a lot of adversity and come back and turn that into such, such positive things. And I really do believe that she's just 100% genuine. Um, and, um, and I would kill for her. And I think, you know, any, any, you know anyone else who got a telephone call would kill for her, and when I say for her, it's, it, it's for the other people that she's, you know, she's fighting for. You all know that Heather is an extraordinary person. She's accomplished so much, and she has inspired so many people along the way. But she's also great fun. She's someone who just lights up the room when she walks in. She combines the seriousness of her mission with an understanding of the fleeting nature of life and the need to just enjoy every single minute. great pleasure to welcome the multifaceted, rarely interviewed Paul Newman. Hi Paul. Thanks for being here. How come you're such a philanthropist? Oh come on. Well you start quickly don't you? <laughs> what do you want? So I went to the head of the British prison service and I said do you think your guys could take my legs apart? <laughs> um, we fitted over 27,000 people um, with artificial limbs, second-hand, recyclable limbs that were dismantled by these prisoners. So I just thank Heather Mills for the person she is and the work that she does for all of us. God bless you, Heather. If you're ever feeling sorry for yourself, you've got too much time to think. So if you've got time to feel sorry for yourself, you've got time to go out, find your cause, find the reason why you're here, here in life, focus on it, and uh, try and make a difference. Thank you for listening to me tonight. Thank you. She was wonderful, very motivational, um, absolutely inspiring. It was wonderful. He Heather Mills is truly inspirational. Well, and I think she left us all with a charge of what we do now. Incredibly inspirational. Even when you weren't thinking about becoming inspired, all of a sudden you're like, what can I do tomorrow? Oh, your chutzpah, your grit, uh, how resourceful you are, how entrepreneurial, and what a gift you are to the planet. Thank you. You know, what can I say? She just blew me away. She's just amazing. She's so funny. She's so articulate. She's so casual. She's so natural. She's got such an amazing heart. She's so inspiring. I can't say enough. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. I was crossing a street and two police cars went flying by and I was like, whoa. So I looked really carefully again, stepped out, and a police bike just came from behind the bus and my leg just flew. She'd had multiple injuries. I mean, she'd lost her limb. 
She had a fractured pelvis, which is, is severe in its own case. She'd had a punctured lung. So really, uh, on, on the trauma scoring, she scored quite high. I went there and I had a fully blown infection again. I'd been on antibiotics for three months. Mm. I turn up there and they say, get off the antibiotics immediately. They start crushing up garlic and oil and uh, shoving it on my wound. Within five days, I was completely healed. That's so good. why drink the milk of a cow when you can eat the things that they eat yeah. directly and get the full protein well, isn't from it? It's, it obviously has worked for you, you look great. not only to organize the benefit concert in New York that raised so much money for the families of firefighters, police officers, and other rescue workers who sacrificed their lives on September 11th, but she also continued her incredibly important work to bring to the attention of the world the dangers of landmines. Make waves like hills, cry wool, get ill, swing low, sweet cheer. She has touched and transformed the lives of literally thousands and thousands of people around our world. videotape sent to me um, 11 months ago from Dennis Erdman who was one of the directors of Sex in the City and he had been at our benefit for landmines and said look you seem to make campaigns work you've got to help us. Heather along with her sister Fiona is preparing for the final push towards a European ban in the trade of dog and cat fur. You know it's bad enough they oh do it in my China God, but that is... You know, the Commission have always said, well, you know, it happens in China, happens in China but it doesn't happen but now in it's Europe. Happening here. Heather has made such a difference to this campaign that I believe now we're at the point of getting a decision out of the Commission. Now, what we have to make sure is that it's the right decision. An EU wide ban on the import, export, and trade in cat and dog skins. And in 2007, the European Parliament voted overwhelmingly to endorse new regulations to block cat and dog fur imports at the border. service to the children of the South Bronx in promoting health, nutrition, and well-being. September 08, and it's signed by some guy named Serrano. Thank you. 